Good morning ladies. So I have a brand new video to share with all of you. It's Saturday morning here and I just got up and I had to pack all these things up for my friend Marilyn. So I decided to do a video first and then pack everything up. So we decided to do a book box swap and uh, it was a Tim Holtz book box and the one which she made me is amazing. Like this one which I have made is nothing in front of what she has made for me. Like that is out of the way and it's like beautiful so I decided to do this book box and I was done with almost everything in my swap except this because I lost I lost my book box I I mean my entire Bermuda triangle of craft room this book box was lost somewhere so it took me a while to find it like I was I organized my entire room and then finally I found it not organized my entire room but yeah a part of it so somewhere I found it and this is what I have made. So this is how the front looks. And what I have done is that I have taken a beautiful piping print and have got it. And the entire collection which I have used is the Prima Butterfly Collection by Jodie Lee. And it's one of the most beautiful collections uh, which Prima has produced. And these are like the beautiful flowers of that collection, as you can see. And I love, I, mean, I love Prima. And this time, like I didn't overindulge myself in Prima stuff. Simple because uh, I think most of the stuff was not coming in stock because of some port problem and then I had my exams so I didn't buy much but yeah the butterfly collection was something which I couldn't miss. So this is how my front looks so let me go one by one to each and every corner of this piece which I have made. So on the sides as you can see I have this beautiful trim and beneath there is um, the paper and I think this one is uh, Marianne Smith's uh, paper like it, it was just a scrap paper so I put it over here and then on the front I have a bunch of things going on here let me zoom in a little okay so over here as you can see on top what I have done is that I cleared it with background paper uh, butterfly collection and then I have this brocade uh, what do you call a stencil a crafters workshop stencil and I use this amazing whipped spackle and I find it better than modeling paste I mean it's much more fluffier and it gives a better look than modeling paste and it's my favorite castle and what I did was that I used a lot of die cuts and these are from a bunch of different collections by Kaiser Craft and they're called collectibles and I like using them a lot like they make my work quite easy and uh, I laid those day die cuts and then I put a bunch of wild orchid craft flowers this is my signature style which I'm pretty sure many of you know like whenever I make I make such kind of clusters with my flowers and then I used my snow ticks and uh, what do you call that stickles rainbow stickles all over it to give it a little sparkly and whimsy look and here I decided to write something like I use sentiments like living my dream living the dream be your own kind of beautiful just inspiring lines and then here I have this word remember and friends because of course Marilyn is a good friend I wanted her to feel so good about herself and uh, like you know she's such a sweetheart and she has been so super sweet to me and again thank you so much Marilyn for your beautiful swap I can't thank you enough and again apology for the late for my lateness in swap and here uh, I have used some beautiful blings as you can see and this one is again a cutout from Prima paper pad and I've laid it on top of it and beneath also there's the same design so it gives a nice 3D effect and here's a cute uh, bicycle which I have used and uh, pretty much that's it like on the front part this is what I have done and then now let's get to the inside okay I'm zooming out again okay perfect so on the inside I'm going to show you what I have done <gasps> this is what I have done inside and my husband loved it he just saw it and he was like oh my god this is so pretty I made one for him like how many years back more than a year back yeah on his birthday like when we first met when we first met like it was an arranged marriage and it was his birthday right after that so I made one for him and after that my word my work has improved quite a lot so he was like oh this is so pretty so now let's see let me show you what I have done in here so I have these like the holes boxes they come in different different sections like many of you know like they come like this okay I'm not going to show you because I haven't painted the backside <laughs> 
Sorry, Marilyn. I hate doing the back sides of my projects. Okay, somebody can see it. Okay, this can't go in now. Okay. You guys got it. The back side of my project. So let me go section by section from top to bottom. So I'm going to zoom in again. Yay! Yep. Perfect. So over here, I have some Prima resins and this is I think the medallion one and I used okay you know at sometimes you get so overwhelmed with all your surprise that you get a little confused you know what to put in which section because you want it to be the best and somehow I land up putting I mean stuff which I never thought I'm gonna put in this day guys I start with a different vision and it always turns out to be something different so this is what I've done on the top on this section I have some present pieces and here what I have done I think these were Hobby Lobby uh, medallions and then on top of it I had these um, graphic 45 do door pullers and these are beautiful they're like super shabby so I lined it up and I used a sticker in the back I think I got this from Tuesday morning and I used this one as a background here and onto here I have some beautiful uh, clock in the rose cameos and these are very nice glass cabochons they look very pretty I got them again from China and then over here as you can see there's a die cut and there's a glass vial and it's got fairy dust in it uh, I'm not sure whether you can see you can see it moves yeah so it's got fairy dust it's got lots of flowers and everything on it and now in this section I have this pretty lace I have some bling because she likes blinks and then some beautiful flowers again these are prima and some twines I like adding twines because they give a lot of texture and volume to your project and some beautiful silver spoons and then I have this heart while I forgot to fill it up with glitter so I'm gonna do that right now and then there's a text which says dream as if you live forever and now let's go on to this section this one has got this beautiful key and I think this one was a local buy. I don't remember clearly. And these are, I've used a bunch of records from Kaiser Craft. And then I have this beautiful bow, which I made from Tim Holtz tie. And you have seen me using this, the, uh, these bows a lot of times. I love using them. They're so petite and so pretty. And then I have this smile thing written. And here I have a beautiful uh, keyhole, again by Graphic 45. And this one is again a shabby chic keyhole. And over here, I have this beautiful uh, frame, Prima frame, and um, I use this sheet called the frames or something like that in the Jodi Lee collection itself. And I laid it up at the back and tried to give it a frame effect. And it has got a fairy and says love. So this is the section all about. And onto here. I have this section which says create and there's a spear resin and there's a glass vial with a lot of fairy dust in it so that, so that she gets a lot of magic in her life and I have these beautiful three flowers and I've laid it up with some twine and these were Michaels I had no heart to use my Prima flowers I'm gonna hold them forever I'm so sorry and so this is how my project looks and uh, I've done a bunch of stuff in here and I hope you all have enjoyed watching my video. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I wanted to do I wanted to do a tutorial for it, and I'm like I did a half tutorial of it, and then my desk was way too messy, so I had to give it a quit. So I'm gonna organize my desk again, and then I'll come up with some more tutorials. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye bye.